The president acting right now, Senator Lankford, and I want to recognize and pay tribute to Army Master Sergeant Joshua Wheeler. Uh, Joshua was born in Roland, Oklahoma. Uh, he was deployed to Kirk, uh, uh, Kirkuk Province, Iraq, in support of Operation Inherit Resolve. And I remember, didn't remember him at the time, but I was there during that time. He was deployed in, uh, to Kirkuk uh, to support the Inherent Resolve uh, operation. And that was his 14th deployment, 14th deployment in combat operations in Iraq and Afghanistan. Jo Josh's unit, along with uh, Iraq and, uh, and, and the Kurdish forces, raided a compound near the city of Kirkuk, uh, freeing 70 prisons, uh, prisoners from captivity and Josh died of injuries sustained in that uh, firefight. He would have turned 40 this month. Josh attended and graduated from Modrow High School in 1994, and a classmate of his, uh, Miss uh, Traub Moreland, said this about Josh and his character. This is a quote. She said, quote, if you would have asked me 20 years ago, would he be the man, the kind of man to do this, to give his life for everyone else, I would say most definitely, I wish everyone could have known him, unquote. Josh enlisted in the Army straight out of high school. He, during his military career, he served in the, in the 24th Infantry Regiment, uh, the 75th Ranger Regiment, and from 2004 until the events that brought, bring us here today, he was assigned to the United States Army Special Ops Command, where he served as a Delta Force. I think we all understand what Delta Force is all about. It's a unit of the elite, the very best of the best. That was Josh, the best of the best. Josh was the epitome of a selfless and patriotic soldier. Mr. Uh, Lance Hunter, Sergeant Wheeler's friend for 30 years, said that Josh was the kind of person who would stop and help a stranger change a tire on the side of the road and always dedicated himself to challenges. When he enlisted, I knew that he would go as far as he could go he made it to be, he was made to be a soldier, unquote. And a soldier he was during his career. Uh, Master Sergeant Wheeler uh, earned uh, 11 Bronze Stars, including four with Valor devices and countless uh, uh, other medals. He was posthumously awarded the Purple Heart for his actions during the raid on the ISIS prison. He's a true American hero. Secretary of Defense Ash Carter expressed just how selfless Sergeant Wheeler's actions were, stating, quote, they weren't part of the original rescue mission, but were critical to the mission's success. In other words, he did something he didn't have to do. Still, the secretary uh, is, is just one of thousands that know just what a hero Josh uh, it really is. I was honored to hear that his hometown honored him by engraving his name in a stone monument and releasing hundreds of balloons in his memory. On top of being highly decorated, uh, he was uh, the consummate family man, father of four. Josh's grandfather, Mr. Jack Shamblin of Roland, Oklahoma, said his grandson loved fishing and hunting and was a family man and always taking care of everyone else, including his four half-sisters. His brother, Zach, said, quote, he was a soldier, but I didn't realize he had all of these accomplishments, all of these achievements. It just blows my mind. He's an American hero. He's just wanted to take care of other people. Uh, Mr. A uh, April Asa, a classmate of Josh's and the English teacher now uh, at the old high school, said, quote, he was always funny, even mischievous, but always the guy who seemed like he had your back. Most of, the, of our class has, was cliques, but he just wasn't. He was one at a group with everyone. He was friends with everyone. Josh lived the life of love and for his family and friends, and I had occasion to talk to Ashley, and I found out that he's a real, a real Jesus guy. This is one that didn't, didn't uh, he, he loved everyone, and he knew what, what was going to happen to him, and we know where he is today. He'll be remembered for his commitment to and belief in the greatness of our nation, and his memory and legacy will continue forever in the love of his wife, Ashley, his four sons, Zachariah, Matthew, Joshua, Jr., and the youngest, uh, David. 
just three months old. A fight that took Josh's life is tragic, but make no mistake, his sacrifice made a difference and will continue to make a difference, not just in Iraq, but in the security of our, our great nation. We are safe in our country, it's, it's secure because of Josh and our service men and women. We must continue our unwavering support of them. I extend our deepest gratitude to and condolences to Josh's family. Uh, and Senator Langford and I are honored to pay tribute to this true American hero who volunteered to go into the fight and to make the ultimate sacrifice of his life for our freedom. It's my sincere hope that his family takes solace in knowing that their husband, father, brother, grand, grandson, and friend is a true American hero and won't be forgotten. And we we'll just say, God bless you, Josh. We'll see you again. With that, I'll yield the floor and suggest the absence of a quorum. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Alexander. President, Mr. President, I ask for the quorum call to be eviscerated. Without objection. Mr. President, I come before you today to talk about the sacrifices of one of Oklahoma's own, Master Sergeant Joshua Wheeler of Roland, Oklahoma, Sequoia County, America. Presiding officer today is Senator Inhofe. The two of us together recognize and celebrate a life of someone who had laid down his life for the nation. Roland and Muldrow are proud towns in eastern Oklahoma, Cherokee country. Families take care of other families. Small town American patriotism still thrives. It's a land of tall trees and very strong churches. Josh was killed in action on the 22nd of October while liberating captives held by ISIL in northern Iraq. Josh was part of a team assisting Kurdish commandos to rescue 70 hostages that were about to be executed by Islamic State militants. There was aerial reconnaissance that had shown a newly dug mass grave at the prison where these 70 prisoners were being held. When, Curtis, when the Kurdish attack on the prison where the hostages were being held was stalled, Master Sergeant Wheeler responded. He could not watch the Kurdish forces face the attack without help. He would not allow those men inside the facility to face execution when he could help them escape. Master Sergeant Wheeler breached the wall. He engaged the enemy. The full force of the attack came directly at him, and he saved the day and six dozen men. You need to know that Master Sergeant Wheeler was the best of the best, the most highly trained warrior in the entire Department of Defense. Josh deployed three times as a ranger in support of combat operations in Afghanistan and Iraq. Then Master Sergeant Wheeler was assigned to the U.S. Army Special Operations Command in 2004 and deployed 11 additional times in support of combat operations in Iraq and Afghanistan. Master Sergeant Wheeler was highly decorated. You can see this from his uniform. Let me tell you a little bit about his awards. They included four Bronze Star Medals with Valor Device, seven Bronze Star Medals, the Defense Meritorious Service Medal, the Meritorious Service Medal, the Air Medal, the Joint Service Commendation Medal with Valor Device, the Joint Service Commendation Medal, seven Army Commendation Medals, the Joint Service Achievement Medal, eight Army Achievement Medals, the Good Conduct Medal, sixth award, the National Defense Service Medal with Bronze Service Star, the Afghanistan Campaign Medal with three Bronze Service Stars, the Iraq Campaign Medal with six Bronze Service Stars, the Global War on Terrorism Expeditionary Medal, the the Global War on Terror Service Medal, the Non-Commissioned Officer Professional Development Ribbon, third award, 
the Army Service Ribbon, the Presidential Unit, Unit Citation, the uh, Valorous Unit Award Second Award, the Ranger Tab, the Combat Infra Infantryman Badge, the Expert Infantryman Badge, the Master Parachutist Badge, three Overseas Servants Bars, and finally, posthumously, the Purple Heart. He did everything his country asked him to do and more. Master Sergeant Wheeler was the first American serviceman killed in combat since 2011. Americans, Kurds, and Iraqis alike owe Master Sergeant Wheeler and his family our deepest gratitude and respect for a life of selfless service. John 15, 13 tells us that no greater love is this that, than one who lays down his life for his friends. Josh did exactly that. Master Sergeant Wheeler's sacrifice exemplifies the highest virtue and defense of his family, friends, and nation. Speaking of his friends, they called him a cut-up, someone who made everyone laugh, a friend to everyone. I spoke to his wife last week, Ashley, and she recounted his faith, his toughness, and his passion for his boys, all four of them. He was able to come home a few months ago for the birth of his fourth son. It was a peaceful and joyous respite from the brutal realities of war that Josh faced for years. Josh spent his life defending the weak and standing up for those who needed help. He spent much of his childhood caring for his siblings. He valued life, freedom, and duty. In contrast to Master Sergeant Wheeler's heroism and selflessness, let me remind you who he was fighting against. In the days following the Paris attack, we understand that the barbarians of ISIL have no problem randomly killing people at a restaurant, a soccer stadium, or a concert. They kill for intimidation and pleasure. They do not even value their own lives, much less the lives of the people around them. The Islamic State has committed some of the most horrific acts of death the modern world has ever seen. Their fight is against all modern society, and their goal is to return the world to a medieval state ruled by fear. They've abducted girls and women, called them subhuman for practicing the wrong religion according to them, and sold them as sex slaves. In the world of ISIL, women can't get an education, drive a car, or even have their own rights. They kill and torture anyone who doesn't agree with them. Their reach extends to our own citizens. No one can forget the horrific deaths of James Foley, Stephen Sotloff, and Kayla Mueller. 26-year-old woman who wanted to do good for the people of Syria, but met pure evil when she got there. Recently, FBI J Director James Comey spoke about ISIL's attempts to inspire Americans to turn on each other with blind brutality. To go out and kill, they say, it doesn't matter who, just act. Good men stand up to such evil. They don't allow it to grow and multiply. We honor Master Sergeant Wheeler's sacrifice and tenacious a commitment to confront evil. We humbly thank his family for the sacrifice they made so that we may all live in a more peaceful world. Our nation cannot say thank you loud enough or long enough to his family. When I spoke to Ashley, Josh's wife, she recounted when the doorbell rang early that morning, didn't even cross her mind that it was about Josh. He was so tough and so dedicated who would ever thought he would be gone. The painful and long process of grieving over a lost hero has just begun. Master Sergeant Wheeler was killed in action defending our freedom October the 22nd. His final service will be this week, just a few days before his birthday. The long days of Thanksgiving and Christmas are still ahead. Please join me in praying for the family of Master Sergeant Wheeler as our nation grieves the loss of a husband, father, grandson and friend to those who knew him, a hero to the nation and the many lives he saved a month ago this week. May God bless Josh's family. May his boys grow up to be men who remember their dad's love for them and our nation. With that, I yield back.